Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta again. Thanks so much for continuing to stay tuned. I am your host, Keisha Lanslin. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about the new multicultural workplace. I know, I know, with the state of the economy, there are all kinds of people out in the market. Well, let's talk a little bit about what the employers should know about the state of the world. Thank you so much, Barnaz, for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Well, tell me a little bit about the census data that brought this to light. You know, the recent census data revealed at the whole new world marketplace. I'm sure you've heard of uh, diversity, multicultural, intercultural. I happen to call it new world marketplace. Okay. Uh, because it's 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 a new game. There, it's 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 place where people and technology come together, and we mm -hmm. is getting trickier in terms of race, religion, right. skin color, lifestyle, beliefs. So now we're kind of dealing with a multicultural society where, um, you know, um, it's youthful. Right. Women are in positions of key decision making. Right. Uh, it's um, it's becoming uh, more uh, pillars of lifestyles, not just skin color. Okay. How people think, hmm. how they perceive things, and it's somewhat youthful. I mean, I don't know if you guys have heard, but the census data revealed that already less than half of the toddlers are white. Wow, less than half. Less than half. So in our mindset, where we're out there and we're searching for a job, we're thinking, okay, we have to be in a place where we can get in with the good old boys network. What you're saying is they need to be ready for us. I think that that, that train has already left the station. Wow. I think it's already happening. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, when you think about the growth for the under 18, nations under 18, mm -hmm. it is 100% Hispanic, Asian, multiracial. <laughs> and here's a big surprise. I mean, we knew that we're dealing with the aging white. We knew that already. But what's interesting is that in the African-American segment, the growth is not there either. Women are working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not having as many you know kids. many kids. Okay. So what's happening is you know one out of three kids being born right here mm -hmm. have a parent who's an immigrant. Mm -hmm. So think about what how that would define corporate America and the future of this nation mm -hmm. as baby boomers retire, and then all of a sudden you have this youthful multicultural right. that their values are different. Um, one of the reports that I looked at. Um, named equality and opportunity as the top two values for the youth. So, okay, in, in your mindset, you're thinking, well, corporate American can figure that out. But what about the midsize and the smaller businesses? Are they figuring out that, you know, again, this is a new world marketplace, the people that you need to be looking for and searching for in order to make it on that in the next generation um, should be, you know, a, it, daughters and sons of immigrants should be women should you know are they thinking like that are they on the on the train yet I think that's a, that's a real good question um, I would even challenge that the big corporations haven't figured it out yet they're still looking at it as segmentation well let's put this percent toward Hispanic marketing let's put this percent toward Asian marketing Ooh, we need uh, we need an Asian agency or we need a, a multicultural agency they're not really even getting that now this is the new world marketplace. This is the general market. Hmm. This is no longer a segmentation. It's almost as if a talk that I gave right, uh, a right. couple of years ago. I said, what do you mean Black History Month? Right. Do African Americans live only 28 days out of the year? Right. I mean, w uh, what are you talking about? Like, I'm going to nod and put banners up for Cinco de Mayo or the SDCS as if uh, one day. What? One day. One day. So it's a shift in paradigm. Whether you're a large corporation or you're small to mid-size, until you really realize that you're dealing with a new normal, new mainstream, what I call new world marketplace, and right. this is the reality, and the shared reality is far more authentic and intuitive than ever before. Mm -hmm. Until they embrace that paradigm and that mindset, we're still going to be looking at um, articles and newspapers hmm. being about like an advertising for Univision or Telemundo, and it's not about that. Right. It's uh, so, I mean, what is it going to take? Because, again, it's almost, it seems like it should be common knowledge. When you look at our schools, when you look at the children who yes, are in the school yes, system, yes. you know, it is far more diverse than it ever was when we were growing up. Um, so, if that's not an indicator, what else will be? Like, what else is going to push people to recognize, you know what, this shouldn't be just a um, non-traditional type of, of marketing. 
this is traditional. This is what traditional has become. Like, when are we going to know that? I think, um, I think actually, ultimately, it's going to get to a point to where companies start losing profit and mm -hmm. sales and market share. I mean, the companies that are doing really well, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's Apple or, or Google or, you know, the car companies, mm -hmm. you know, enterprise, th these, these brands have figured out that, you figured know what, the general market is, is not what it used mm -hmm. to be, and it's mm -hmm. really... The best way to describe it, it's the pace of the change and oh. the shift and the complexity uh, that contains these critical demographic junctures. But if you look at a brand uh, like Harley Davidson, I think they're struggling because they have fallen into a demographic wow. foe and and majority of their sales are coming from um, right. Anglo, Absolutely. older, older, and now it's like, male. okay, how are we going to be relevant? Very interesting. We're not so thanks so much for coming on the show. Absolutely. And sharing with us all, all this information. You know, it's all about education, all about opening up your mind to what's truly happening in front of you. So many times we have on these blinders and we're just stuck in the mind frame of doing what we've always done. Well, you know what? We've always done doesn't always work. So sometimes you've got to shift the paradigm, shift your, your thought process. Um, and some of that is recognizing the new world marketplace. Stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back here on CW69.